I tend to think that the best indicator of a strong community is how well its women are doing. I say, hey, how you doing today? It's a good day not to be homeless. I hope that when they grow up, they say I, I did the best I could. I was maybe about seven or eight years old, marching with my mom. Like, this is my life. We started as an organization of women who opened a 12-room house for homeless girls. There's no organization like us. <sighs> I try not to think about life too much, okay? I try not to. I was in and out of the shelter five times. Uh, before that, I lived on a porch. Um, I lived in a car in a garage. Um, I lived in several basements. I gave up on pretty much everything. I had lost my career and um, I was desperate and I'd relapse, 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 relapse. I remember I said, I'm really tired of this. Look at where I am and what are you doing, Amy? So I went back to the shelter. I didn't know if I could make it a day, uh, let alone a year. My uh, stepdad was pretty mean and abusive. Both parents turned into alcoholics and eventually my stepdad uh, killed my mom when I was young. So well, I was in a similar situation that my mom was in. So me and my kids left and we found the YWCA it turned out to be one of the best first steps that I took. So when I first came here, there was an engagement specialist and she said, Amy, Amy, I was just talking about you the other day. She said, please let me help you. I was like, what? She knew what it was like. She wanted to help me. She saw something. She saw this little spark. I was kicking and screaming the whole time, you know. She'd pray with me and uh, hug me and listen to me. And she just, she cared about me. She. My biggest concern when I first got to the shelter was if I was gonna have childcare or not because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to afford that. I felt nervous, scared, uneasy. I remember the first day, the girls just ran right into the room and they were playing with all the other kids. It was a huge blessing. My earliest memories of the YWCA are with my mom. I was the epitome of a Y kid. You name it, I did it. While I was in college, my first charge was to find something that felt like home. And YWCA feels like home. And so I participated in Leadership for Social Change, where they truly challenge you into finding who you are and empowering your voice. It was such a natural connection to the work that I'm doing now. It's purpose-driven work. My apartment became a mini treatment center. The very first thing I did was I wrote a sign on my refrigerator and it said, you can never get enough. You can never get enough. And I just read that every day. What you need is inside of you, and it's not chemically induced. It's something that comes out of you that motivates you and, and makes you whole. Coming here lets you see you can change. It's not just childcare, it's the glue holding everything together, making everything possible. I started working on myself, finally got my own car, my own place, and then I started going to school to get my diploma. I got this job at the hospital, which I love now. I'm gonna go to nursing school here soon. It really wouldn't be possible for me, my kids, to be where we are today. If we didn't have the YWCA, I'm really thankful for all of it. I wake up every day in the skin that I have. I wake up every day in the body that I'm in, and every day is a fight. Every day is a struggle. Whether you see it or you don't, here at the Y, there's a whole organization that has my back in the work that I do, who is emphatically passionate about 
and eliminating racism and empowering women. That is a lifelong commitment. And um, if you know anything about women, you know we'll get it done. It's only a matter of time. YWCA's mission is eliminating racism and empowering women. We deliver human services 24-7, 365 days a year. We have housing programs. We make sure that a family is stabilized in shelter and we put our kids first. So it really sets them up for success in their future. We also fight for people. We are a social justice organization, raising our voice and advocating for a more just future. Empowered women ensure an empowered next generation. Empowered women serve their community. They lift up their families. When women are strong, that is a giving cycle. The Y is a place to come and get well and grow up and discover things, discover that you can feel happy. Go to nursing school and get a good job take care of my kids. That's the ultimate goal for me. I just want them to be the, the best versions of themselves. This is my home. I've never had a home. Never. I never felt safe anywhere. Never. But I feel safe here. We need you in this fight with us. We need our volunteers. We need our community committed to the work of YWCA Columbus. This is our community. We are building this together. We are serving families together because they are our neighbors and we need your help. <laughs>